Imagine being worth billions thanks to the inheritance you got from your father. Well, that's the kind of thing that also happened to Mohammed VI, the current king of Morocco, who's living the lavish billionaire lifestyle that we're dying to know about. Sounds pretty great, right? Or should we say, lucky. Let's take a look at the lifestyle of the royal family who rules over one of the world's richest countries. Thanks to the years of heritage and significant wealth, royal mansions are the place to live. Like, just imagine the silk and brocade lined panels, exquisite courtyards, enormous lighting with the world's most beautiful chandeliers, and magnificent masterpieces. You simply can't get enough. Royal residences, from huge palaces to charming castles, are among the most beautiful architectural wonders with the most lavish layouts. And when it comes to Morocco, Dar el Maxen, Morocco's royal palace located in Fez, has our undivided attention. Well, it's the personal residence of the current king, His Majesty King Mohammed VI, after all. And when we say it's huge, trust me, we mean it. Other than the lavish family quarters housing the Moroccan royal family, the palace property also includes mosques, royal institutions, bookstores, cooking schools, and a frickin' race course. Now is a good time to tell you about the palace's daily operational budget. Wait for it. $960,000. Yes, you heard that right. Not a year or a month, a day. It's safe to say that automobile and clothing expenses are the biggest culprits for this humongous budget. Got yourself some utility bills piling up on your desk at the end of the month? Well, imagine if they quoted $720,000 for water and electricity with a telephone bill for another $700,000. That's the kind of bill made for the Moroccan royal family. Having said that, we're just talking about one palace. But did you know the king has over 12 royal palaces around the world? The most recent palace hit the news headline when the King of Morocco reportedly spent $85 million on the French mansion with a breathtaking view of the Eiffel Tower. That makes sense. Think about it. When the King's palaces are estimated at $500 million anyways, we're bound to expect such a huge purchase from him. Now, many of us choose to rent out our spare properties for some extra income on the side. Well, the King's no exception. Did you think the grand palaces were just for the royal family and grandeur? Okay, yes, but they're also disguised as luxurious hotels welcome to tourists and other affluent individuals who can afford a night at the bed of roses. The king's profit from just renting the palace out to hotel groups earns him well over a hundred million dollars a year. Talk about a side hustle. King Mohammed VI is the perfect blend of a savvy business sense and inherited company wealth driving a monthly income of $140 million. We know a tour of the palace with a closer look into the royal family lifestyle would be an absolute treat. But since that isn't an option, try out their hotels. Enough about the royal family, let's talk about their 70 meter yacht, which, no surprise, is one of the largest yachts in the world. Damn! Mohammed VI was already the proud owner of a refurbished schooner, the 62-meter El Bukaz. But he ruled Morocco for 20 years as the king, so a celebration was due, right? And of course, the Moroccan royal family had all the money in the world to take it up a notch with a larger and more modern ship. The way the royal family splurges their wealth, which honestly seems endless, has been the subject of controversy for the longest time. People can't comment enough on their priorities when it comes to spending their wealth, because they can't stop comparing a luxurious yacht to the helpless kids who continue to live in poverty. Everything comes at a price, and that is definitely true for the household at the royal palace. In fact, Mohammed VI spends about $8.8 .8 million monthly just to pay off the wages of his staff members—1,100 workers, to be exact. And let's not forget the $120,000 set aside for maintaining his long list of luxury cars. The royal family lives and travels in style, and their private jets are no exception. Take a look at their Boeing 747-400, which is their go-to jet aircraft for commuting inside and outside their homeland. The four-engine wide-body layout has enough space for 660 regular passengers, 
or, in this case, luxurious spaces for the royal family to comfortably sleep, eat, and relax as per their grandeur. When you're a family of four, with two teenage children and enough wealth to rule a country, you're bound to splurge on your children. That's probably how Prince Moulet became the proud owner of the Gulfstream G650, set at $68 million. None of their expenses seem to come under a million dollars now, do they? When ruling a beautiful country, a tourist spot for many people across the world, you don't always have to leave the country to go on a holiday. Morocco is a stunning country and one of the best holiday destinations, something the royal family knows and values enough. However, not all resorts will have fancy airports to cater to the royal family's private jets. But what doesn't the royal family have if not an extensive collection of luxury cars? That's right, the Moroccan king owns a fleet of flashy, and of course pricey, cars, which include some of our favorites, from Maybach and Ferraris to Aston Martins. His luxury lifestyle and attention towards his luxury cars were evident when Mohammed charted a Hercules aircraft to carefully transport his beloved Aston Martin DB7 for maintenance and repair from Rabat straight to the manufacturers eagerly waiting in Britain. From his extensive and beloved fleet of a dozen cars, the king takes the opportunity to select one car every morning which he uses the entire day. In fact, it's believed that the king owns about 600 cars with an estimated value of $400 million. Luxury, luxury, luxury. Who can forget watches? Other than the 12,000 hectares of land, dozens of castles, and an envious car collection, King Mohammed also owns a stunning watch collection worth millions of dollars. And let's not forget one of the famous gold courses worth millions in Morocco and proudly owned by our favorite royal family. Honestly, the list doesn't seem to end. The king is known to have an envious collection of expensive timepieces and jewelry. In fact, the Moroccan monarch was also reported to have a huge watch collection, as seen on Instagram back in September 2018. The beautiful Patek Philippe Nautilus watch, graciously encrusted with 893 diamonds, was definitely up to the king's standards. Think about it. The watch itself is worth $1.2 million. Having said that, the king isn't selfish. He loves to send gifts to royal subjects globally. Back in 2016, King Mohammed gave President Barack Obama a beautiful gold brooch decorated with diamonds and rubies with a combination of silver earrings and a watch encrusted with emeralds and diamonds as a gift. The U.S. Federal Registry valued the precious gifts at a price of 